Hello there, statistics people. This is going to be a quick little demonstration of how to do a basic coin flipping simulation in Tinker Plots. So I have here a blank Tinker Plot screen, and our situation is this I want to take one coin, and I want to flip it 24 times, and I want to see what the distribution of the percent heads is going to be. So let's play with this. We're going to simulate some. Up here in Tinker Plots, you get a few different options to start with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab what's called the sampler. The sampler allows me to build simulations. And there's many different ways you can build simulations. For this particular video, we're going to grab a spinner and drop it in here. And my spinner is going to be two regions. We're going to call them heads and tails. Now I'd like to be able to make this a fair coin, so 50-50 would be great. So I'm going to click the little down arrow here, show percent. I'm going to just change one of those guys to 50%, and the other one should change to 50. So I've got a fair coin, 50-50. When I flip this thing, I've got a 50-50 chance of heads or tails. And I want to flip one coin 24 times because that's something that most people do on a daily basis. I want to record what happens with each one of the coin flips, and then I want to see what happens if I were to do this experiment many times. So with Tinker Plots, this simulation's already built. If I press Run, it shows spinning the spinner, which is analogous to just flipping the coin, and recording tails, heads, 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 tails, and so on. And we can speed this up a little bit so that the simulation goes a little faster. Or we can speed it up even more so that the simulation just finishes. Okay, so I've got 24 coin flips now. Let's take a look at what we had. So I clicked on the header for the coin flips. I'm going to grab a new plot and drop it into Tinker Plots. And it shows me exactly the way I think about some data. Here we are with a bunch of just piles of data. I'm guessing one color is heads and one color is tails. Well, Tinker Plots is nice. If I grab one of these and pull it apart, it separates those for me. Well, let's do a little bit more. I would like to see what percent right here is in each category. So it looks like for my first simulation, flipping one coin 24 times, I got 58% heads and 42% tails. Well, what I'd really like to do is do this multiple times because computers are really good at doing things that are kind of repetitive for humans really, really fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on this 58% or on a Mac two-finger click, collect statistic, and it says, okay, for this one run of the simulation, I've collected 58.33% heads. And now this button right up here, where it says collect one, if I press that button, it did the whole simulation one more time. Let's slow that down so we see what actually happens there. So if I press collect one one more time, it did all the spins really fast. Maybe that was too fast. So it's doing all the spins for me, one, two, three, four, five, and it's collecting, let's see here, now I'm up to 78, 80% tails, now I'm gaining more in the heads, and eventually I'll reach 24 coin flips total, and there we are, 20, 24 coin flips total, and it saved my 37.5%, which it rounds up to 38 there. So let's make this real fast again. And now I can tell it, let's collect 20 of those. And I don't know if you can hear it, but it gives a little pop every time it does this. So it does the simulation, collects 24 coin flips, records the percent heads, drops it into here, does the whole thing again. And I just did that 20 times, so I've got 24 total. Let's do it 20 more so that I've got... 44 total different simulations here. It's going to be quite a few simulations. And eventually would want maybe a couple hundred. Okay, so I've done this coin flipping simulation many, many times now. So I'm going to highlight my percent column. Let's make a plot of that guy. 
So drop that plot in here. So notice I just grabbed the plot, dragged it down after the column I was interested in was highlighted, and it just gives me a big pile of statistics, a big pile of numbers. So I'm going to grab one of those and just start spreading them out so I can see kind of how they arrange themselves. And once they're spread out as far as can possibly be, Tinker Plots won't let you do it anymore. Then I'm going to stack them up. Well, okay, look at that. So I've got a nice stack of my percentages. So this dot, say right here, that represents flipping one coin 24 times, measuring the percent that were heads, and we got 41.66% in that simulation. This one was one coin 24 times. We happened to get 58.33% heads in that one. And if I collect 20 more, notice now that it will actually populate this plot down here as we go. So let's wait for those 20 to actually populate in there. We're getting close. Okay, we'll drag this down. We now have 64 total simulations. So we can do one more thing. This is kind of intriguing. I'm going to put a divider in there. That's this one right here, a divider. And that divides my data into different regions. And I'm going to show the percents within my divider. And I'm going to pull this out until I think outside the gray area is a pretty rare event. So I'd say outside the gray is pretty darn rare, and inside the gray might actually happen fairly often. So if I gather 20 more, it's still going to populate. It'll change the percentages as these things populate. But notice the percentages are not changing by much as we get more and more and more of these simulations. So now I've got 84 of these simulations total and less than 4% of them had fewer than 30% heads. And less than 2% had fewer than 70% heads. So if a friend comes up to me and says, hey, I just did one coin, I flipped it 24 times, and I found 75% of them were heads. One of many things could have happened. Either they were really lucky and they were somewhere in this 2%. We had a couple that were up there that were almost just as rare. Or their coin is not actually set to be 50-50 fair. Maybe they're weighted a little bit more towards heads. Or maybe they're simply just lying to us. So that's the end of my video. I hope this has been informative to for how to create a kind of basic simulation and actually get some really interesting statistical information out of Tinkerplots. Be safe out there. Have fun being a statistics student.